So this is a parable. Now, this parable comes in a gold box, like many of them do, and you can see them on the shelves. And you can see that the color gold is, well, it's a very precious color, right? Things that are gold are precious. And so what's inside is also very precious. And the parable also has a lid on it. So it, it looks kind of like a present. And sometimes we receive presents, but this present isn't the kind of present that you would get at a store or for your birthday or Christmas. This is a present, a gift that's already been given to you. It was yours before you were even born. Now we have to be careful with parables. We have to be ready. Sometimes it's hard to get inside. And sometimes they'll open up to you. And even if this one doesn't open up to you, you can always come back to it because it's always yours and you know right where it is. So why don't we see what's inside? I wonder if it'll open for us today. There is something. Huh. Wow. Now I wonder, I wonder what this could be. Hmm. It's very green. Very warm. I wonder if this could be a treetop or maybe the leaf of a giant tree that's fallen from the sky. Hmm. Or it could be a knee patch for a pair of gigantic pants. It could, it could be a golf course or a putt-putt. Now look, there's another side to it. There's, a, there's always another side. Hmm. Well, what else do we have? Look at this. I wonder what this might be. It could be, it could be a cloud floating by, or a piece of sky, perhaps. Huh, I wonder if it's one of those things that you can look into to see your own face. Or maybe it's a window to help us look into the other side. Now, I wonder what these could be. They're very dark. There's not very much light in them at all. It's almost like holding a shadow. They could be a piece of coal or spots on a Dalmatian. Now some of you sitting over here may see a face. Do you see the face? Yeah. But there's no light in the eyes and no light here in this mouth. Now look, I wonder what, I wonder what this might be. Could be a rubber band. It's a little stretchy, like a rubber band. Could be a piece of bacon. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe it's a path. I wonder if this is the beginning and this is the end, or maybe this is the beginning, and this is the end. Well, you know what? There's another one. I wonder what this might be. Oh, now maybe the path is in the middle, in between the two. Hmm. 
It does look like an equal sign, you're right. Or the number 11. I wonder what this could be. Hmm. Football? I wonder. Oh, and look, here's another. Oh, now we have football. That's a goalpost. And maybe this is, I wonder what this could be. It could be baseball. It could be a picture frame, yeah. Hmm. Well, look, look at this. There are lots of these. If I put this one here, maybe this one here. You know, this place is getting really, really strong. I wonder what this might be. It is kind of like a house, like Lincoln Logs or a log cabin, but it's a, a flat house, isn't it? Everything in this parable is flat. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if someone lives here. Yeah. Maybe animals or people. You know, if that's true, we probably need a way to get from the outside to in or the inside to out. I think I'll make a door. Let's make one right here. I wonder what the, oh, look, I think I know. You see this? It is, it's a sheep. So that means this is a sheep fold, and they call it a sheep fold because you fold the sheep safely inside of it. Well, I wonder how many sheep there are. This many? Or maybe, maybe this many. Or maybe, maybe it's this many. Maybe it's this many. Or maybe it could be many more. Hmm. Well, this is all we have to get ready for our story. So I hope you're feeling ready. Hmm. Once there was a person who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. But they didn't know who he was. And so once, they couldn't help it, they had to ask him, who are you? And one time he said, I am the good shepherd. And I know each of my sheep by name. When I take them from the sheepfold, I show them the way. They follow me to the good green grass. I lead them beside the cool, still, fresh water.
when there are places of darkness or danger, I show them the way through. And I count each of my sheep as they return home safely to the sheepfold. And if one of my sheep is lost, the good shepherd would look everywhere for that sheep. In the good green grass, beside the cool, still, fresh water. Even in the dark and dangerous places. And when that sheep is found, the good shepherd places her on his back and carries the sheep home, even if the sheep is very heavy. And when all the sheep are home safe, The good shepherd can't help it. He needs to celebrate with his friends. So he invites them and they have a feast. Now this is the ordinary shepherd. When the ordinary shepherd takes the sheep from the sheepfold, he doesn't always show them the way. And so they wander. And when the wolf comes, the ordinary shepherd runs away. But the good shepherd stands between the wolf and his sheep, even to lay down his life. So that they can return safely the sheepfold.
Mm. Well, I wonder, I wonder if the sheep have names. I wonder if the sheep are happy in this place. I wonder if you've ever been in a place like this. Yeah, I wonder where this place could really be. I wonder if you have ever had the cool, clear, still fresh waters touch you. I wonder if you've ever been in a dark or dangerous place. Hmm. I wonder how you got out. I wonder who the Good Shepherd might really be. Hmm. I wonder where this whole place could really be. Well, we could wonder all day. The Good Shepherd. Look, the sheep. The cool, still, clear, fresh water. places. Our sheepfold. Now I wonder what your work will be for today.